Hey everyone and welcome back. If you're new around here, we are Jack and Joe, that scruffy mutt is Frank, and that hunk of metal there has been our home on wheels as we travelled the UK and Europe. In this video, we spend a full on week showing you why Montenegro should be high up your must visit list. We ride countless boats, hike up mountains, drive along beautiful roads and explore pretty coastal towns of this compact but beautiful country. So, if you're looking for travel inspiration for your next trip, you've come to the right place. Sit back and join these wild journeys in Montenegro. Welcome to Montenegro. Yeah. We have got a week to 10 days. We don't really know. We have, we've planned a little bit um, of what we got to do in this country. It's a very small country, but it packs a big punch. We've heard lots <laughs> of good things. It's got an amazing beach. It's got amazing beaches, beautiful old towns, yeah. awesome kind of like mountains, hikes, adventures. And yeah. We're looking forward to it. We're really looking forward to it. We spent today just doing our setup day. So we've got mobile data five euros for 500 gigabytes for a week oh. which is just obscene i mean i won't even use that much it, the weather is not looking great today and tomorrow it's literally just started started raining yeah. but <laughs> we're just on the outside outskirts of Olsinj. i don't know how to pronounce it don't know how to pronounce it but check out this view look at that <laughs> but yeah, really excited, aren't we? We're so excited. Come along and see what we get up to. <laughs> Slept so well last night. Like to the sound of to the sound of the waves. It was really nice, wasn't it? Um, the views here are amazing and just as we watched the sunset kind of go over the old town over there it was really cool because we uh, there was like a call to prayer <laughs> at sunset and it was like beaming across the whole bay, bay area it was awesome today after this coffee we're going to head off to the ancient town of starry Bart. so we'll see you there after we've looked at this view a little bit more because it is incredible Winding up what we now know as typically scenic Montenegrin mountain views, Stari Bar is the site of an ancient old town, now abandoned after an earthquake in 1979. For two euros you can walk around the site and imagine what life used to be like here. It was by no means our favourite place, but it's worth a walk around for the views at least. We were just saying, it would be helpful if there were more information boards, wouldn't it, Joe? But the views around here are beautiful. I like springs, definitely. Well, you can just see like loads of butterflies, flowers. The views are incredible. It's like the mountains with clouds. It's worth, worth the two euros that we paid to go in. Yeah, nice little morning. <laughs> so, nice day exploring Starry Bar. Starry Bar, we'll work it out at some point. Um, we come back to the car park, went to go pay, and the guy. Yeah, he said um, we can park for free because he loved Frank so much because Frank was so cute. So thanks, Frank. So for once, Frank, you saved us money. You're really kind of earning your vet bill money back. High five. High five. Okay. No okay. Worries. Right, I think we're going to drive over to Lake Skadar Lake Skada now. Skadar? We'll, we'll, we'll learn how to pronounce all of these words at some point. Yeah. Um, it's a beautiful day. Let's go to the lake. After another beautiful scenic drive through the mountains, we arrived at Lake Skadar. At 140 square miles, it's the largest lake in the Balkan Peninsula. Surrounded by mountain peaks to all sides, it's a wildlife haven. A remarkable 270 bird species make the lake one of Europe's largest bird reserves and a popular destination for birders like us. The best way to explore the lake is, of course, by taking a boat trip. Got to get 
After a pretty awesome day in Lake Skeda, we were filled with excitement about exploring more of this beautiful country. Our next stop in Montenegro saw us return to the coast, with plans to explore some of the country's famous coastal towns and beautiful beaches. Go on, Frank, you can get that. Good boy. Frank, you're, you're right there. <laughs> go on, mate. Go on. Right there. Oh, nearly. Frank, go get it. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Yay. Oh, oh, nice. nice. I'd recommend you go for a little. Absolutely not. Do you come for a little dish? No. No? Mm -mm. Nice though. I'm yeah, sure it is. Maybe in Croatia? Yeah. Give it two, give it another week to warm up. Yeah. Beautiful day though. Beautiful day. Right got wrong, but I my Scratch the city plans. It's such a nice day today that we are gonna take our kayak for its maiden voyage. Oh my god. Joe, what have you called the boat? Mycena. Why is it called the Mycena? If you know, you know. <laughs> Maiden voice is in full swing. Is it? Yeah. Right, grab a paddle. The stages of Joe in water. Originally, didn't want to get in. Now we're on, we had to stay close to the shore. Now, she's like taking us through rocks and she just went, I think I might be a kayaker. I think I might be. Is that your thing? I don't really like, I like see things from above, but I also don't really like fish. Yeah. Also, I love Animals and nature. How was your first day of yachting? Great. Been to a rock. I am um, traversed this around some really dangerous rocks, didn't I? Yeah. And now I'm eating Pringles on a boat. Can life get any better? <laughs> Than you think it is. <laughs> After spending another night down by this beautiful beach close to Petrovac, we readied ourselves for another drive along one of Montenegro's designated panoramic drives, which are signposted throughout the country and deserve their name. We were on our way to Lovchen National Park, home to sacred mountains considered to be the heart of Montenegro and the resting place of a Montenegrin hero, Bishop Peter Petrovic II. Look at those views. I am looking forward. Uh, I will look back at this video clip and I will appreciate the view that I know is there, but Joe won't let me look at. Amazing view, look at that! Tell you what, you can really tell why this, con why this country is called Montenegro. It is, it's got mountains. Chaotic last minutes. Well, last 10 minutes of arriving in, uh, Love Chet National Park. Uh, do not try and drive all the way up to the viewpoint because it's not suitable for vans. Do not go up there. Big shout out to the guy in the car park that basically got us out. I know I've said this every time we've seen the snow, but look at the snow. I'm declaring a new word today. You can't stop saying it. It's snow. Look, I just can't go over the fact that we were on a beach this morning and the weather, and it's really warm now. Yeah, you went for a swim this morning on the Went for a swim in the sea. And now we're looking at snowy peaks. Right, come here, and snowy roads. Do you want a ball? Here you go. Have you done it? Yeah. Has he ever seen snow before? I don't know. You ready? Get it. Get it. Oh. Oh. Went, oh. Yeah, get it. Good boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good boy. He's like, whoa, I quite like that. 
quite like that, mate. After paying an entrance fee of €5, Euros, you will walk 472 steps up to one of the most beautiful views we've seen in a while. Look at them. What on earth? It's like you're like in a cup, like in a saucer of mountains. Yeah. And we are the cheese. <laughs> That's so just, I, I love that. Stop for a second, just listen to how quiet it is. Huh? <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> so while Joe stays warm in the van, I'm a bit out of breath walking out somewhere. While Joe's staying warm in the van, I'd come up for a little sunset session. We're in the shade in the van, so we didn't realise how much the sun was still up. Check out this view. Like you can literally see across the whole of Montenegro. It's such a beautiful country. Let's see what this view is like over here. The high mountains of Montenegro include some of the most rugged terrain in Europe and average more than 7,000 feet in elevation. Mount Lofchen is the reason why Montenegro got its name. The Black Mountain lies at the historical centre of the country. From up here you could see towards Albania. It was truly breathtaking. morning we had a lovely night's sleep up in the mountains wasn't as cold as we thought it was going to be um, I think we've just got soft with the diesel heater but we're up early this morning because we are going to do something pretty cool that Joe's organized um, down in Couture um, but it starts our tour in Couture starts at 10 o'clock this morning um, and it's about an hour's drive down the mountains again another beautiful drive yeah, we'll show you what we're up to um, in just a little bit. The scenic roads of Montenegro are just getting silly now. You could seriously visit this country for the roads alone. The drive from Lovchen isn't for the faint-hearted, taking you down a road called the Serpentine. We'd recommend taking this road on early due to the fact there's some tight turns and heart in mouth moments when you meet other fellow drivers. But the views down to the Bay of Couture were exceptional. The Bay of Kator is a fjord-like bay at the top of the country and one of the highlights of Montenegro. And the best way to really experience this area with a rich and grand naval history is by boat. We booked a boat trip to take in some of the bay's most famous sites and we must admit it was probably one of the fanciest things we'd done in a while. Some of the stops we were taken to included the Lady of the Rocks, a church built on rocks and the ruins of enemy ships destroyed by Montenegrin defenders as they tried to raid Kator. The Blue Cave, which is a secluded cave that you drive into with clear fluorescent blue water, and a submarine bay used by Yugoslavian soldiers defending the bay during World War II against Italian forces. Finally, the boat ended with a whistle stop tour of the picturesque towns of Perast and Picator. Two perfect places for a final Montenegrin mooch, some vegan food, and an epic parka.
business Never knew the life had just begun You came into my life Like a sweet embrace Swept me off my feet And made me whole again You came in my life I want to see your face Never will I be Be the same we're gonna end that here. Um, we have an amazing week in Montenegro. It's a beautiful country. So beautiful. Yeah, this, it packs a substantial punch considering its size. It's got yeah. so much to do. It's beautiful. Um, yeah. Wild camping is amazing. The people are lovely. So nice. Um, it's gonna be stuff we want to come back and do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. definitely, mate. There always yeah. is. But yeah, there, there's some stuff that we didn't get to do just because it's out of season, like Dermatol National Park. So if you do visit, go check that out as well as the stuff that we've done this week. Yeah. And yeah, we're going to head off to Croatia, I think tomorrow exactly. or this weekend. So the next time we'll see you will be in Croatia, maybe next week, maybe the week after. But until then, hope you have nice Easters and we'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye.